My man's, how's it going? You ever hear the show River Monsters? Like a Jeremy is like a fishing show. I'm doing that in hardcore Minecraft, okay? The next 100 days, I'm gonna spend hunting this massive giant. You wouldn't believe your eyes when you see this fish. Look at this. I had to use a man as bait. This is, this is personal. Whoa! What was, that scared me. So why didn't you go ahead and leave a comment saying, you will get this fish, just like the great Jeremy Wade. Oh, that's a, that's a good comment right there. Why don't you go ahead? Also, you know what you should do? You should go ahead and subscribe to me, okay? They say everyone who subscribes gets a good, uh, they get something, okay? Let's just start the video. 100 days, river monsters. Okay, day one, I uh, spawned. Huge, massive tree. A huge view up here. Oh! Imagine if I fell in that right away, day one. Straight down to the big pit. Yeah, it'd be good. Okay, so I made some stone tools before going to that house. I'm not, I'm not walking in there with no weapon. You just immediately die on day one. So I got those built and headed over there. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. Wow. I came down and uh, made a, a a massive mistake. Yeah, I saw these you know buffalo right there, and I thought, oh, yeah, it's probably good to eat some buffalo meat. Let's hunt these things to the point of extinction. And uh, wow, yeah, a big mistake. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I'm getting chased by a bison. Does it have a door on it? Where's the door? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming! After I got in the house, I went through it, and uh, I found some good stuff. There's a gold block upstairs. Uh, downstairs, there was a chest with some more gold in it. There's a saddle, a bucket. Oh, a bucket! Forgot about that thing. There's some seeds. Uh, I went outside after I made sure that that buffalo was hunting me was gone. And uh, I got some coal, and I made some torches, and uh, put them all around the house. Got this place nice and light, lit up. No, no one's sneaking up on me. That big building nearby, I don't know what's going on in there, but... Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I gotta fight my urge to run in that thing immediately and, and die. So just hold off. But oh no, looks like I got went in. I don't remember doing that. So I destroyed a spider spawner and a zombie. Or I I got what, what am I doing here? It's day one and I'm already. Anyway, so when I got home that night, I I popped in a music disc. This is my first time doing this in Minecraft and uh, a creepy song. Hey, you know what? This is the perfect time to tell you we got new merch. Forge Labs Anglers Club. We got, got some good stuff here. Got, uh... These are clips of me. Like, what, what am I doing here? What is that? Here's it's just me walking through a puddle with this stuff. We got a whole bunch of new stuff, right? We got the My Man's Big Grouper hoodie. Good stuff. We got the Forge Labs Anglers Club Goliath Tigerfish. Also got this spooky fish. Uh, there's like a mug. There's a hat. There's some good stuff in here, right? Oh, look at this. Yeah, this has nothing to do with the merch. I put my GoPro in in the this swamp, and look at this fish I found. Look, look at the eyes, and, and look at his big lips. Well, what was going on here? I'm supposed to be sh showing the merch, but you got. I have to show this fish. Hey, yeah, there it is. If you want to uh, get some of this Forge Labs Anglers Club merch, I got a link in the description. Okay, day two. What, what did I do on day two? Looks like I was uh. Oh, uh, yeah, it's chasing a crow. Oh, that's good. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Land. Here we go. Okay. Come here. Are you going to land or what? Where are you going? I can't, if you're I can't get you if you're floating up there. Okay. Should be focused on getting iron right now, but uh, it looks like I wanted to explore a little bit. Uh, there's a second big lake near the house that I'm staying at, and uh, I don't want to jump in it. I, I don't want to go for a swim because I, I have... When I make these mod packs, I just click ran, not random mods, but I, I don't research the mods I add. So who knows what could be in that lake? There could be a giant monster in that lake for all I know. <clears throat> uh, when I... When I wrote this script, that was a joke I wrote in here. I didn't think that there would actually be 
river monsters in this mod pack. That was a joke I wrote. It, I had... Okay, just get back to the... Okay, so I... <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, look at that! There's a turtle! I remember, I saw that little turtle swimming around. I thought, hey, let's see what's going on in there. Completely disregarding my, uh... Your fear of a some sort of beast in this lake. Can I have it? It's a turtle. Hey, a little turtle. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop hitting it. How do I take it? I spent the first half of day three mining. I I, I found th six iron. Get an iron in this mod pack for some reason incredibly difficult. I don't know why it was taking... doesn't matter. So my, my pickaxe broke, so I came up, and uh, while the iron was smelting, I looked up what I could do with copper. I found that I could make some sort of... you make you make pretty cool weapons here, uh, but you need poles and hilts, and to make those, you need leather uh, straps, and you, you get leather straps, you need leather, okay? You need a lot of stuff, all right? So I went out and made a farm, because I was a man who needed leather extremely bad. A man with leather on the mind. Oh, but first, quick uh, message from this video's sponsor. Monster Legends, right? They're sponsoring a new, uh, another video here, and I'm real excited about this one. I'm going to tell you why in just a second here. This one, okay, first of all, Monster Legends is an awesome free-to-play battle RPG mobile game that will put your strategy skills to the test. There's over 900 monsters to collect, plus there's always new monsters coming out every week. You can breed monsters of different elements and rarities to create new species. And starting from today, here, here's the part I'm talking about. The newest addition to the game... Look, it's the Forge Labs monster, all right? This is... Look at this guy right here. Beautiful beaker. Got that ooze coming right out of it. This thing right... You look at the wall of monsters here. What is your eye drawn straight to? Yeah, the, the, the Forge Labs monster. You can figure out how to get this guy by going to the YouTuber Island, a place where you can find many monsters created in collaboration with some other YouTubers and stuff. But you know what? They don't matter. Yeah, focus on this one right here. What you want to do is create the best team and put your strategy to the test. And I'm going to tell you right now, the best team, you got to add this guy, the Forge Lab. All right, I can just focus on this right here. So you can level up your monsters. You can uh, boost their powers with runes, relics, and talents. You can create the best team and put your strategy to the test uh, in the ultimate challenge of battling other monsters in real time with live duels or multiplayer mode where you can conquer trophies, win rewards, and fight for a chance. What you really need to do is just get the Forge Labs monster, right? And the way you're going to do this is you're going to go ahead and click the link in the description, all right? Or use the QR code on screen right now. You'll get 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and 10 Forge Labs monster cells, which you can use to create my monster in the monster lab, all right? So go ahead and do that because you don't want to miss this. It's only available for a certain amount of time. Thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. And thank you for creating such a beautiful work of art, all right? Hey, day four. Doing something with bees. I, uh... You have no idea what they do in Minecraft. They're just buzzing. I ra the other night I was in bed and I thought of the, the best joke about bees. I, th I thought it was so funny. And now I have no idea what it was. So just pretend I said a bee joke here. Anyways, I, I hope these... Th I, I was just hoping these things would help my farm. Okay, just flying around doing bees. That kind of... It's gotta be top 10 worst joke. That's not even a joke. You can't even classify it as... What was... I needed to cut down wood, all right? I, I installed this mod that made cutting wood down more interesting. You just chop the base of the tree, whole thing comes down. I'm a huge fan of this because it makes it much more quick. It's much, much faster to cut down trees this way, so big fan of this. I turned one of the little, like, natural caves by the house into a, a pen of sorts. This is where I'm going to keep all my animals. The, the front is a regular fence, but the back is a kind of turns into a bit of a cage. Kind of like that. I also opened up the roof a bit so that I can just drop animals right in. This is a called animal hole, you know? You just push them right in. Boom! It's good. Hey! Good job, my man. You may have walked right in. Beautiful. So I went out the next day and I lured two cows. Dropped them right in. Right there they, uh... I don't know why I called it the hole of destiny. That That's not even... I, so after I got that all sorted, I, I turned around and I was scared to see that this man snuck up on me. Oh! Oh! I re I tried to wrangle this thing into the pen. You ever try to get a buffalo into a tiny little pen? It's not uh, not, not easy. Well, come on in. 
Wait, I have an idea. Oh my god. Come here. Okay. Okay. Come up. Look what I got for you. A little bit. Oh! Its horns hit you. Just gotta stay away from its horns. Oh! Is he in? Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, it's inside! It's in and it's mad. It's mad. I'm sorry, my man. You gotta be in there. Okay. okay, it is. Can it get out? It can just walk out. Right here. Okay, but it, it just strikes me every time I go near it. It, it does not like me. It, like, it remembers. It remembers what I did to it. There we go. Come on. It doesn't chase me. Oh, here. Now it's chasing me. Come on, I need you to go in the hole of destiny. Come on, right here. Come here. Come here, you big, you big stupid buffalo. Let's go. Oh, you were so close to the hole of destiny. Let's go, let's go. There's the hole of destiny. Get in the hole of destiny. Come on. Oh! Come on, right in the hole of destiny. He just walks over the hole. He just walks right over the hole. He's gonna knock me off. He's gonna... I'm gonna get killed by this buffalo. I'm not giving up until you're in that hole. Let's go. Come on, stop. Freeze. Okay, good. I'm gonna go behind you and I'm gonna give you a little gentle little jab. Okay, ready? He just walks over the hole. Go in the hole of destiny. He doesn't care about the hole. I didn't end up getting this this man inside the pen, so I went inside because I was getting shot at and I tried to sleep, but I couldn't. So I wanted to make a heater shield. What is a heater shield? Did I, did I mistype that? You gotta make steel ingots by uh, blasting iron. So I did that. Uh, then I made the shield. And I went out to deal with the skeletons and I killed one. But then, uh, look at these weird creepers. You just snuck up on me. Oh. Oh, look at these creepers. Oh, I don't, I don't know what they do. Oh, they're fast. They are fast. Oh, okay. When I went back inside, I, st I still couldn't sleep. So I figured that I would do some inventory management because one of the things I ne it, I don't need to explain. You are, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I'm a messy man. Just throw things everywhere. So I wanted to make a new chest and uh, the, the only thing was that I had nowhere to put it. And I was looking around the house and I thought, ooh, right there, it looks like a good spot. So I destroyed whatever was in the way and realized that there was a, a trap door. It, it just, look what I found. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I did not know about that at all. That is incredible. Look at this. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? The next day, I converted that iron to steel, to, and then I used the leather I made to make straps, which were then used to craft a steel Morgan Stern, okay? I was about to say Morgan Steen? No way that's right. Morgan Stern, that's... I, I mean, you know, I'm just gonna hope that's right. Uh, I used the rest of the steel I had to make chain mail, and then I uh, made steel plates. Uh, and I was only one plate off making armor, so I went out, despite it raining, and uh, tried to find some in that mini dungeon I went in. Uh, yeah, remember that, that little, like, whatever this building was, this thing? I, I went in. No armor! Just a brave man, and, uh, it was very easy to clear. There's, like, next to no enemies in there. And there's also next to no loot in there! Not good stuff! There's some useless emeralds. I, I don't know, there's there's barely anything. There's definitely no iron, so I ran home in the dark, which was scarier than the dungeon itself. I did get these broken leather boots, though, so... Hey, I put them on on day seven. In the morning, man with boots on in the morning, they say that's gonna be a good day. So I went out mining and I got yeah, pretty deep, but I ran into... Look what I found down there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The arrows just don't work. You gotta use a pickaxe to kill this thing. A rock creeper. So I wanted to go further, but I ran out of torches. I kept mining the next day, and I found more iron as I explored the cave. Eventually, I found an underwater lake, and woo! This is how people die, all right? They go, they go swimming where they shouldn't be swimming. If you're ever in a deep cave and you find a giant, un don't go swimming in something like this, all right? That's so dangerous. I, I I can't do that. I I'm gonna. Why would you do something like that? I'm gonna drown. Yeah, I can't do that. I came back up and I got I started smelting. While I was 
no, that was going on. I took a look around and I saw floating island. Ooh, look at that floating island. What's going on up there? Normally, I don't like these things, but you see something like that? This one Ooh, looked, it looked like some place that I want to go later. Uh, I had enough steel now to make the. Uh, am I, I? I suck at reading Roman numerals. X I V. All right, so that's 10, 14 century, 14th century. There it is. I did it in my mind. Uh, knight armor, right? I got the boots. I got the chest. And I got the legs. A man who's ready to ready for battle in the 14th century now. Ready to go. Uh, but so I went to the coast to see those floating islands. And, you know, kept looking at them thinking, hey, I'm going there soon. It's going to be good. On day 10, I went to the island. I, I swam up the thing. I, it was a giant, like, water, whatever this is, kind of floating waterfall or something like that. And there, you know what? There wasn't... Wasn't much up on this island, kind of a waste of time. I ran through all of them, and I found next to nothing. It might be a good place to set up a base, because you're kind of safe up here. No, you're not. Enemies can still spawn up here. I, I don't know, okay? Kind of. Anyways, I, I from up here, I spotted a lava waterfall and some other stuff on the mainland. That I, th that looks more interesting than these islands. So, uh, I took a giant leap of faith off. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! What the- what the look at the whales! What's that sound? Oh! 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 Yeah, then on my way back, I ran into the- Whatever these th creepy looking things on the- Just running around out there. What is that? What is that thing? Okay. Okay. I don't know what these ones do. Don't blow up my house. It's still- There's three though! Okay. Started raining on day 11. No man loves a rainy day like this, you know? Actually, you know what? Rain's not too bad. Since it was raining, I decided that I'd skip the lava waterfall thing. Because after seeing those things walk around outside, I was not in the mood for those. So uh, I ended up exploring past that mini dungeon out by the lake. And uh, I found this mine shaft entrance. But I got freaked out and turned around. And uh, on my way back that night, I found a book, okay? And this book led to a series of events that would... It, it, it shaped the entire playthrough of this thing. And this book right here is what caused... Okay, anyway, so the book, I started reading it, and it says you need something about some hay hole block. A guy comes out of a block or something like that, and the moment a man like me reads something like that, he thinks, okay, you know what? Let's figure out what's going on here. So I made a block of coal, uh, but you need more. So uh, in the morning, I got more coal, uh, and I made the block. You know, I placed it down with a campfire on top of it, and uh, nothing happened. So, so I turned away, and then this man showed up. Oh! Hello! I was just dropping books. Huh? The house? Two emeralds for an empty huh? map. The house. Oh! The lonely villager, the search. You stay here, okay? Stay here. I, I know where emeralds are. Stay here. I'll be back. I needed two emeralds, and I knew where I could find them. Uh, I went back to the mini dungeon and got them. Uh, when I came back, I, I was worried that the guy had left. No, 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 whoa, 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 come back, 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 come back. I bought this thing uh, with two emeralds. Absolutely no idea what it does. Yeah, so I just clicked it, and uh, it did nothing. So that was, yeah, it was good. The guy had more stuff though. It looked like he was selling maps, and I assumed that these were to dungeons, and that I really wanted to do that. But the problem was, was that I needed no, I needed emeralds. I had none of them. So my new priority was to find a village. So next morning, ooh, that's what I set out to do. The only thing is, I needed a horse now, Some, something to ride, and uh, I, this guy brought me a horse, I guess. So I tamed it and uh, tried to ride it, but it would not. Couldn't go. It was kind of stuck, so just found another horse and started riding. I rode this thing very far. I got stuck in like in a river at one point. I found like a name tag. All sorts of stuff. There's tons. The tons of stuff was going on here, but I, I didn't find a village, so I ended up running home in the dark. Just open season. Everything's shooting at me, but I made it home. I went out the next day in a different direction this time. And I found a tombstone, and uh, if, you, if you watched any of my other videos, you know I got no problem. Defiling a man's grave, even if it means getting one piece of coal. So I just dug that thing right up, and uh, yeah, I got some leather. And I found another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 
iron helmet, golden copper. Look at all this gunpowder. Wow. Do I have a helmet? No, I don't. Oh, finding a lot of good stuff. Finding tons of stuff out here in the world. Everything but a village, though. Could not find a village, no matter where I looked. This village was getting away from me. So I went back that night, and uh, I used uh, those two graves I found. I kept them, and I set them up. Made one for uh, Robert and one for Kim. I planted some crops on it, and I uh, went to bed. So I went in the other, uh, the other direction the next day. Uh, I went towards those lava waterfalls. Remember those? I said I was going to go out. I completely forgot about them. They were, uh... Let's just say there was no point in going over them. Just kind of a waste of time. Uh, but before I left, I cut down this massive tree, which had a bunch of apples in it, so... I took the saplings, thinking, Hey, maybe I can grow apple trees later. I don't know if that's how that works, but hey, maybe, I don't know. So I kept going, and uh, that's when I saw something truly remarkable. That's a gorilla! Okay. The King Monkey. Hello, my monkey man! How's it going? Hey! This guy's just sitting here. Oh, ho, ho. how's it going? Can I get on this guy? Oh, you you gonna eat the tree. I need this, man. How am I gonna do this? What, you like trees? Here, 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 here. Yeah, oh, yeah, just keep eating those. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Here. Here, take him. Oh, okay, does it? I, that moment, I realized everything else that I'm focused on right now doesn't matter. I need to get this man home, but I, I needed him on a lead, so I went home and... <laughs> Let's just say I knew where to get a lead, all right? I knew one place where I could get one. That, that traitor. I murdered him and took the lead, and then uh, I put a tombstone where he died and titled it... No One. The next day I went back and I caught the gorilla. Okay, he's still here. Look at that man go. Right. Oh! Sorry. Okay. How's it going, my monkey man? Oh, you having a snack? Here we go, you're coming back with me. Let's go. Let's go, you can take that snack on the road. We got a place to be. Come on. Come on, let's go. Okay, we can't fall here. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Come on this way. Okay, how do I get you in the boat? You gonna get in the boat with me? What happens if I start sailing? Can you swim? Yeah, you can swim. You can swim fine, right? Hey! There we go. I'm bringing King Kong back to New York. I'm like, I can just kind of stand on water. It's good, I like that. Let's go, though. Come on, climb. Don't wa don't do, don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Stay away from that. Hey, just walk like that. It's good, I like that. Come on. No, no! Come on. Where are you getting stuck? Don't fall, don't fall into the buffalo pit. They, they, they are psychos. Come on. These are nuts. There we go. Okay, you just stay there for a few minutes, okay? It's good to have you here. I gotta figure something out for you. I start. I brought him home, and I started. I built him a cage. And I figure out what to do with him. Figure out where to put this man. So I spent nearly the entire day on day 17 cutting down trees and uh, replanting them. And the next day, when I, what was I going to do with all that wood? Well, I was still figuring that out. The first thing was I need to get that horse back. So I went down to the coast, but I got, I got uh, I was attacked by villagers or something like that, which uh, reminded me, oh yeah, villagers. Yeah, I was supposed to be looking for. Supposed to be trying to find a village right now. That's the important thing. Not getting my horse, not worrying about this gorilla. I gotta get gotta find this village. So I made a boat and I sailed. I, I said I was in that boat for so long. Just going in one direction. And you know what I found? Absolutely. It was like 10 minutes of just sailing straight. And I found nothing. So I, I turned back and I, I I what was have you ever seen this before? Just nothing. What was going on here? So I turned around, came home, and when I got home, it just, I guess it was, uh, Halloween night. That doesn't make any- There's so many monsters outside. Just- It was- Everything- I wasn't good, alright? I had to kill them all, and then this giant beast came out, so I killed it from upstairs. So I went out looking again, and I found a very- I found this beautiful view right here. Whoa! This looks beautiful over here, wow. Why is it taking so long to find a village? I really wanted the village to be on the other side of that little river, so I could build a very cool bridge and walk across to it. It would have been very nice to do, but you know what? No village. No village anywhere. I'm starting to feel like I was the only man alive in this world. And, uh, wow, just... It was brutal. So I kept looking through the desert, 
And I, I found some sort of... You know, like a little column with a vase next to it or something. So I, I brought a bed though, and uh, I slept out here in the open. I didn't want to travel through the night. The moment I woke up, I got ch chased by some sort of fire beast. What is this thing? I don't see, I don't know what that thing is. It's just a, it's... You see that? It's just coming straight for me. What is that? Sugar. Yeah. There's like a jungle ahead. Um... A big a bunch of trees, a big clearing or whatever. So I started walking towards that jungle. And I was like, I saw two good men there. Two good men. What is that? I'm gonna write that in my script. Two good. What am I talking about? Oh! Hey. Okay. You see, I went into the jungle and I, I saw this a boss bar on my screen. And it said Kraken. Whenever I see a boss bar, I think, okay. You see, I, I gotta know what. What's going on over there? So I, I, I found this lake, and I saw what looked like a sunken ship out in the middle of the lake, and you know what? I should have put two and two together. Should have thought, actually, you know, sorry, let me, let me go back in time a little. My cousin, yeah, it was my cousin, he got, he started playing, and he saw a ship in the, and he said, I gotta see what this, I said, don't go there, eh? Kraken is probably out there. Just don't, you don't need to go see the sunken ship. And he said, hey, no, I gotta go. And I go, okay, if you die, it's, you, you're the one playing, not me. Right? So he, uh, he, he went out to go see what was going on over there. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay. That's the Kraken. That's the Kraken. Okay. It's stuck in the, okay, that's the Kraken. What did I say about the, about the, uh, there being river beasts in here? I said that as a joke. They're in here. There's, there's a crack in there. Okay, you know what? It's you can you can clearly hear it's me in the. What? Who would who would fall for that? It so I did something really dumb after this. I got in a boat and went back out. I think it's stuck. Okay, it's not stuck. It's not stuck. Okay. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that the Kraken would kill me? The, uh, it might, the thing looked like it was stuck. You know, these giant creatures in Minecraft, they get stuck all the time. And I thought that thing was locked in. Also, it lo squids are, they don't attack people. How was I supposed to know that this thing was, okay, that, that death, there's no way that death counts. Why? There's no way. You cannot fault a man for dying in those circumstances. Absolutely. Why don't you go ahead and leave a comment saying something like, "I cannot fault a man for dying in those circumstances." Not, not, not me. Not on day twenty of all. No way that counts as a death. Yeah, that that right there. That is a comment. Okay. That that is a comment you gotta leave. That's a, that's a good one. But you know what? Seeing that kraken told me everything I need to know about what what I was doing in this. This was the moment where I decided to change this from 100 days in a fantasy to 100 days in river monsters. Because that Kraken, I was going to take that thing down. And you know what you need to do to take a thing like that down? You need to change your skin from whatever my skin currently was to Jeremy Wade. Yeah. yeah but if I'm going to take that thing down, there's a lot of things I need to do. Number one, day 21, I needed to move. I, so I, I'm building my house at the river. It's gotta be a river house. There's no question about it. That, that, that's gonna give me quick access to the, it, it doesn't matter. You, if you're gonna do river, you gotta live next to the river, right? So that's where I was building my house. I found the perfect spot. And uh, by the end of the day, I had, a, I had a bit of a small frame built. I went back the next day and I started, it was raining again, which I don't like the rain. Actually, I don't know. So sometimes it rains nice, so. Yeah, why, why, why am I commenting on if I like rain in Minecraft or not? I should be talking about what I, I was a man working hard in the pouring rain. So I wanted the floor to be slabs because yeah, there's water here and uh, I need it. What? Oh no, I, I said I want the floor to be slabs, but because there's water here. I need to learn how to write. Yeah, you need to drain it. So what I have to do is I, I put down dirt for If somebody can explain to me a better way of doing this. Because this was a huge time-consuming process of putting blocks down, putting another block down, removing a block. It was just a whole thing. 
I don't know. I got a chunk of it done that day. Uh, and when I got home, I started... I was, I was, I was getting worried about getting killed. Oh, yeah, I had no more armor anymore. I was worried about dying again. But, yeah, and the next day, day 23, I just worked on the platform more. There was just tons of work to do. I wasn't sure if I was going to cover the entire thing, especially since there's you know, there a lot of turtles here. A glowing turtle? Oh, hello. This is like a home for turtles on this riverbank, and I was about to destroy their habitat. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. look at these guys. These turtles walking around. But the next day when I was working on the house, I thought to myself, you know what, these turtles really need this small piece of coast more than I need a nice house to live in. No, they, they do not. I, I need the house, so I just... Had the, I covered the spot. Why, this was such a bad joke. This another... Out of the list of terrible jokes I've made. I'm terrible. I worked on the house all day, day 25 as well. I started building the foundation. It's made up of logs and cobblestone. And for once, I, I'm not going to use stone bricks, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try very hard to resist the urge to use stone bricks and build an underwater component to this base. I, I don't need to be doing anything with water in this playthrough. I'm always met, spending so much time on that, so I'm not doing that. I, I never end up getting... Same thing on day 26. I, I built the cobble layer up and I filled in the floor more. I, I, I don't want everything on slabs, so I need to come up by half a block. And then more work the next day. Just worked on the house more, but I was getting very tired. Very, very... Oh, yeah. If, at one point, I actually fell asleep while playing. I was just, look at that. I was just standing there with an apple in hand. And I, look at this. On the boat ride home, I was spinning in circles. Do you ever fall asleep playing games like this? What am I... Just go to bed. So, uh, I, I, I'm, I slept that off. I slept in real life. Day 28. Back for more work on the house. Uh... I don't like how the- I didn't like how the wall was turning out. It was not looking good. So the next day I tried to make the walls look better by giving them some depth. And I think I found a style that I liked, but it meant more cobblestone. So I did some light mining, and I came back up, and it was raining again. So I just kept working in the rain. Doesn't matter. Man, man's got to work, you know? More work on the house the next day, but I'm getting kind of bored of building this house, so... Uh, I wanted to do an expedition tomorrow. There's- apparently there's tons of dungeons around. Tons of dungeons all over the place. And this would be an excellent opportunity for me to go get some gear pretty easy. Get some gear, get myself protected in case some sort of beast comes for me. That's what I needed to do. So in the morning I left and I went very far. I traveled across fields, you know, lakes, beaches, etc. And I saw absolutely nothing. I was still kind of looking for a village. And there was no village. There was no dungeons. But I did find this. Just look at this. No. Oh. These things. Hello, my man. How's it going? Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, look at the mountain. So I climbed to the top of that mountain, and I was hoping that when I got to the peak, that I would see something, and give me some sort of indication of that. Hopefully, there was a village nearby. And you know what? There was nothing. Okay. So I just slept. I made two massive discoveries the next day. The first was about food. You can cut these mushrooms down? I just got tw Are you kidding me? Okay. <coughs> I... Okay. That's like unlimited food. The second? The, I'm never going in the dark woods again, alright? Oh! Okay. Oh! Okay. What am I doing? Oh! Okay, th there was a big thing there. Okay! It, it ran at me. It ran at me. There's flies. At this point, I had traveled so far that even if I did find a village, it, it was it was like a four-day journey to get here. That is not true. It, it would be a two-day journey. It's a long, long trek to find. So, I, anyway, I just slept on a riverbank. And after another day of searching, and get, I got stung by a puffer fish at one point. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Wh wh what are you doing? You just, you just come for a man for no reason? I, I, I had enough. So I gave up and slept with the seals. You ever do that? Just take a little sleep with the seals? Noisy creatures. Extremely noisy. 
I wanted to go home now. I had enough. Uh, but I've been... Uh, this I had been kind of worrying about because... I had absolutely no idea how to get back. I mean, I, mean, I left markers, but if... He, well, let me just put it this way. Within three minutes of trying to get home, yeah, I was already lost. I have no idea where I am right now. So at this point, I had three options. Option one, I could do something off camera, traveling, and uh, appear back home and just say, Oh, hey, forgot to... Forgot to record day 34. I just walked home. Option two would be uh, my cousin, uh, Lucadonero. What is that name? Lucaderono? Why would I write that? He, my other option was to have him play and have him die, or I'd spawn back at home. Or option three, I could, uh, just sit. Well, you know, let's just save this one in case I still need it. But I, I, let's just say I was. Option three, I was about to write a joke about being stuck on Sheep Island for 100 days. And when I got my boat back... What is Sheep Island? Option three makes... Anyways, I got my boat back and I started sailing and I... Look what happened, okay? Oh! oh okay! I can't believe it. I can't... I, I was... I was just about to give up. Ooh, this was a this was a huge find. I was a desperate man, and when I f when I finally found this village, I was let's just say I was feeling like my man Jeremy Wade at the beginning of every episode of River Monsters. Time to get to work. Time to start making some moves here. But for now, it was time to get some rest after a stressful day. So I slept in the village. Now that I knew where a village was, it was uh it was time to get back and just remember where the village was and figure out a way home. Remember, I was talking about three options. I said the option three might. It was it was time to use option three. I'm an idiot, okay? You know how most people write down coordinates in Minecraft and take note of where things are. I don't do that, all right? So I had no idea what the coordinates of my base were, but there I there was a way for me to get them. I recreated the world, copied it, and when I spawned in, I just got the coordinates. It was, it was that simple. Bingo. I then loaded the, my world back up and uh, looked. I, I looked at where I was and I knew the direction I had to go. And there it is! Man knows how to get home, that's simple. Does this count as cheating? No, it does not, alright? It does not. And if it does, it was my cousin Lockadon playing, alright? Not just, why don't you leave a comment saying, Hey, that crazy Lockadon always be breaking the rules. You love that man though, good heart, good mind, good man. That's why we all love Lockadon. I don't, I... I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm going to read this script anymore. Y yes, I am. I'm going to read this. Okay. So I didn't want to leave the island yet, or the village yet, because th there was no point in sailing all the way back home and then just come. I needed the village anyway, so I figured I'd stay here for a few days and maybe do some trading and get some armor or something like that. So I don't know. So I stayed out all that all night killing zombies and spiders and creepers. I was trying to get flesh because one of the tr one of the villagers would accept flesh for coin or for emeralds. So I thought, okay, let's get this man some flesh. He wants it, I'll give it to him. Um, but by the morning, I, I didn't even have enough for one trade. So the following day, I looked up villager trading and I learned how to get the men I want, right? So I made one of these grindstone things and I put it in a house. Next, I read that fletchers are the best for getting emeralds. So I made a fletching table and uh, replaced a cartography table and uh, turned this man into a Fletcher. Hey! Fletcher, I am. Oh, 32 sticks for a... Uh... The next day, I brought this man sticks. Tons and tons of sticks. And I leveled them all the way up. And uh, then he wanted flint. But I realized how much work it would be to get him flint. So I, I went back to collecting sticks. And by the end of the day, I had almost leveled him up again. And I now had 15... Ooh, look at that, 15 emeralds. A rich man, very rich. But I was back to chopping trees the next day. And uh, I was worried that I'd run out. I saw there was a nearby jungle. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. I will cut that entire thing down. No problem. I'll tell you right now, I got no problem clear cutting that entire jungle. If it meant even getting four emeralds. I'm a man with emeralds on the mind. And in fact, I would love to open up some sort of casino here. Hey, that'd be pretty good. Get all these villagers coming in and call it like a. Uh, Fast Sean's safe and fun casino. Bring your money here. Is that even? A, can you make a villager casino? Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done that. It'd be so funny. These guys are giving me emeralds and stuff at the casino. 
Like, I'm in a bet. I'll get Kim and Robert to bet in my casino. Okay, focus on the script. Let's go. Stop talking about casinos. So, uh, the next thing I wanted to do was get an armor so that I could use some of these emeralds to buy armor. But to do that, I needed two iron, and I did not have iron. So, uh, I you know, went out looking for it, and I didn't want to... I was sick and tired of digging. I didn't want to be mining at all anymore, so I just figured I'd look around until I found iron, even if it took longer. I was looking for surface caves and under... I found an underwater cave at one point. There's no way I'm going down there. There's no way. So I found the iron on the surface as... Yeah, I found it, okay? Uh, and then I went, went and made the uh, blacksmithing table. Then realized that, hey, you know, the blacksmithing table? That does not... That's not what you need. It gives you, it gives you weapons. It's a big waste of time right there. So I was back out looking for more iron the next day. I still refused to mine. Not doing that. But while I was out there looking, I saw uh, some like kind of stick things. It looked like a little stick coming out of the ground. I thought, "Ooh, a little entrance to a dungeon." But then I realized I'm just I, I I'm an idiot. I I'm dumb. Wait a minute. Are these my sticks? Are these sticks I put down? Is that is that the mountain I already Okay. I know how to get home. Turns out that the, this village is not that far from my base. It, it is not far from my house at all. In, in fact, I knew exactly where I was. You know what? I'm glad. Remember when I said, oh, you gotta sail in this direction. This is the way to get home? That was not right. I, I don't know where I was gonna be heading, but that was not correct at all. Anyway, so I, I found nine iron and uh, I went back to the village. I made the stone thing. And then I placed it down and rang the bell and converted this man into an armor crafter. I used my emeralds to buy armor, and then I cut down more trees and sold them to the Fletcher. And I used that money to uh, buy a crossbow. Or buy multiple crossbows to level this guy up. It was fun. I, I, I've never really done this before. I have a few times, but not like this. this was, I was having fun doing this. So that's what I did for the next few days. Day 41, same thing. Just going back and forth, maxing these things out. Day 42, I got the Fletcher up to max level. And, uh, it was finally time to cash this man out. I need more wood, so I turned my attention to the nearby jungle. It's just clear-cutting this jungle. Chopping everything down for profit. Oh, look at all this wood! It's all money falling right there. Money, money, money! Gone bananas. I have not gone bananas, alright? Don't be saying stuff like that. I made it back to the village that night, and I was full of wood. I converted all that wood into sticks, and I trade, trade, traded. Got the armor guy, d d max level, I... The, in the, the enchants on the gear he was giving me were horrible. Just brutal enchants, so... Just kept trading the next day. I got diamond legs and shoes. Uh, I also did some light trading with the cleric. Was this a cleric? Who is this guy? Clerk? Cleric? I don't know. Cleric, that's it. Clerk. Yeah, this guy's a law clerk. This guy's a, what am I saying? Cleric. Anyway, so, I was almost done with this village. Getting kind of tired of being here, to be honest. It was probably boring for you to watch me just running around talking to these guys. So I thought, you know what? It's, let's do a dungeon. Time to cash in some of these emeralds and you know, f buy a map. So I, I made a hay coal block and I put it over a campfire and just waited. Yeah, this guy better show up again. This, this guy needs to come here. Hey, he did. And this man brought. I bought the map to the iron mines from him for like 12 emeralds. Uh, the only problem? I have no idea how to read a map. I have absolutely no idea how to read a map. And that's about the time that I started considering if I even wanted to do a dungeon. It, I was supposed to be doing River Monsters at this point. In what episode of River Monsters does Jeremy Wade use a map to find the Iron Mines dungeon? But when does that man do that? He, he does not, but you know what? I, I, needed our, I needed something, so I, uh... I, I don't know. I, I, I figured out how to use the map the next day. Uh, but before I go, I wanted full diamond gear, so just more trading was doing that. By the end of day 47, I had full diamond armor, and uh, now I just wanted to get the cleric to max level uh, before I left, because I, I didn't know when I'd be back here. So I traded with the cleric, yeah, eventually he offered me ender pearls, and you know, these things right here, these, these will be very useful later. But he also offered me uh, emeralds for glass bottles, and I thought, hey, that's a yeah, pretty good deal. And I also realized that this whole time, I thought I was leveling this guy up so that I could get enchants from him. Okay, this was... This guy is not going to give me any enchants, I'm realizing now. I, I want to do one last trade on day 49. 
one final one. Yeah, I know I keep saying that, but this was, I swear, was the last one. I need more sticks, though, so I went to the jungle, and once again, I was ready to destroy nature for money. And while I was cutting down a tree, I spotted something. Oh! Oh! How's it going, my man? Hey, uh... Don't, uh... Don't, don't even worry about what I'm doing, alright? You don't need this tree, it's good. Trust me, it's better without this thing. You can see, you can see more. Oh, I got a banana for you. Big banana? Here. There you go. Ooh, ooh, go crazy for banana. You remind me of Robert. Eat a banana in front of you. Oh no, oh, 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 okay, I didn't mean, oh, okay, 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 okay. 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 Got a little... A little carried away there. I, I don't know what it is about monkeys, but they get my monkey brain going. A little fact about me. I took a... You know one of those DNA tests? I did one of those a few years ago and just figure out where... Because I, I didn't know where my family was from, right? So I took this DNA test. And uh, they give you other, other stats. Other, like, information about you. And I found out that I am in the 99th percentile... Uh, for having ne the most Neanderthal DNA. Well, what, what does that mean? 99th percentile for Neanderthal DNA. I, t I told my parents and they started laughing at me. They're like making fun of me. You know, what, what, what does that mean? I'm some sort of, like, what, am I less of vault? What's going on? Okay, you know what? Just focus on this. Anyway, so I got the enchanted bow and some iron tools. I figured by day 50 now, I'm ready, all right? So I started the long journey home, and I followed the post that I made, and, you know, it was not long before I was lost again. I did an awful job laying these things down. Where is it? Where is it? I just keep getting lost. Oh! 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 Where did I come from? I don't think I came from over there. So I slept on this little island while I figured out what to do. I kept looking around the next day for the next marker and I, I just couldn't find it. So it was time to time to get into the mind of an idiot. Think like a man like me when he where 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 would he go in this situation? What direction would he have came from? So I followed a path and uh, there wasn't any markers, but sure enough. Hey hey hey, it's good to be back. Hello, hello, hello! Throw that in here, throw that there, got some good stuff in here. Look at this, name tag, golden carrot, block, block of gold. Oof. Feels like I haven't been here in, like, months. I feel like a man has been, like, gone. Hey, I made it back! So I popped in, dropped the stuff off, and went to the new build house, and yeah, it's, everything's looking good, good to be back. Day 52. It was time to take on the iron mines. I was going there, and I was getting what I could get. And, uh... Started the trek and realized, you know what, this is going to be a long journey. So I went for a while, and about halfway throughout the day, I realized that I forgot to bring a bed. And uh, if night fell before I found sheep, ooh, did not want to be out there. Did not want to be out there for that. So I started getting worried uh, that I was going to have to fight off stuff throughout the night. But then I found a, a bunch of sheep. Whole group. And even better than that, look at this. Found a town. Another village? Hey, hey. How's it going? Good to see you all. Oh, you guys don't even know. I already uh, did this whole thing. I slept in the village that night. It was good to, good to have nice, solid sleep, you know? I approached the castle the next day, and as I got close to it, I saw the boss bar appeared. Iron slime. I ignored it for now and just went into the castle. There was tons of good stuff in here. Next to no enemies. Besides, uh, they had like a guy locked up in the basement. Oh! See that gun there. Hey, this place is very cool. I wish that I could build something as cool as it. Next time I want to build a castle like this. In a future 100 days video, maybe I can build something like this. Because this right here is... This is incredible. Anyway, so I looted the whole place and uh, stashed everything I could in it. I am going to build a castle like this in the next 100 days video. I, I, gotta, I gotta come back and look at how this castle was built. And maybe it means copying it. But you know, I want to live in a castle like this. In the next video that I'm doing, I'm doing that, alright? Just focus on this video for now, why are you getting yourself? So anyways, I looted the whole place, and I, I stashed everything in a chest, and then I proceeded to the iron mines. It was close. And I could see the, the, the details filling in on the map. 
And that's when I, I saw the building. I saw the entrance. This is it. This is the iron mine. I carefully went in and got, and kind of got stuck. There was like water flowing into the staircase and I couldn't plug it because every time I put it down, it would just fill back in. And if I tried to dig around, I was getting mining fatigue. So I just went back up and, and just slept, I guess. I, I was trying to figure out how to get down the next day. I, maybe I'd just swim or something like that, so... I, yeah, I, I just swam down through a hole. And there I was, face to face with the iron slime. That's the iron slime right there. Oh! Look at this thing. It was a giant, massive, big slime made out of iron. And I had absolutely no idea how to fight it. So I tried to shoot at it, and that didn't work. So I hit it a few times, which did nothing. So then I just, you know, walked in. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. I think it, things got real bad after that. I realized that I had mining fatigue, and I had sealed myself in that room. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, wait, it's breaking. I managed to get out, though, because the, the, I guess the mining fatigue went away when I got stood in the corner or something like that. So I got, I got out and made it back to the castle and uh, made a golden pick because I learned that that's what you got to use. You cannot... You have, you have to use anything besides an iron pick on this thing, and I thought gold was better than stone, so I made one of those. I came back the next day, and I was ready to go. I tried hitting it, and it, it did some damage, but only for a second, and then it immediately healed itself. And then it almost killed me, and I was starting to get real angry at this thing. So that's when I came up with an idea. How do you deal with a metal creature that just won't die? I'll, I'll tell you how. You go up to the surface, you get a bucket of lava, and then you smelt that thing down. There we go. Burn. Oh, hitting him. Oh, he, he get, immediately gets his health back. It, it didn't. It didn't do much, but it was stuck. So I went up to it with my stone pickaxe now and hit it a bunch of times, and it did. It, it started to do damage. So I had to hit it rapidly, and then I just kept going, and my pick broke. So I made another one, kept hitting, it, and eventually this thing died. Yep. So I killed him. I got absolutely nothing. No, it wasn't totally pointless because there's a lot of iron in this cave. There's a ton of iron, and this iron right here plays a very crucial role later. If I didn't get this iron, you'll see, okay? I needed this much iron. This was very important for me to get this. So I tried my best to follow the markers back home, and it worked for a while until I, I couldn't find the next one. So I just looked around and searched the river and the hills, and I, I couldn't find it. Okay, I'm getting sick of this. How does this keep happening to me? Why does this happen to me so much? Am I the... This must happen to other people. Other people must get lost in this game as much as me. I looked around more. I, I truly have no memory of ever being up on this mountain, this cliff or wherever I am right now. I, I, I do not remember putting this thing down here. Okay, day 57. So, you remember those coordinates that I got that I said I wasn't going to use a long time ago? You know what? Desperate times call for desperate men. And I was a desperate man and... So I, I used them, right? And I found my um, I found out how to get home. On my way back, I stopped at an abandoned mine and found a while ago. And I went in. And I, oh, look at this! I got, I got one diamond all in there. I also got some bookshelves from whatever this place was, and that oh, was good. Day fifty-eight. So I worked on the house more. Uh, you know, I don't want to go another hundred days without a house. And yeah, I always end up not building a house. So I just, you know, I keep trying to get this thing done. I had some trouble with the roof because I had no idea how to make this look nice. But you just got to keep working, you know. So day fifty, day fifty-nine. In the morning, I, uh, you know, I, I took a look at the roof on the house that I was sleeping in and thought, you know what, that's, hey, it looks pretty good, so, let's, uh, maybe let's just copy this. So I went out and looked for some spruce, and eventually I found some, but by the time I found it, it was starting to get late, and I did not want to be stuck out and lost at night and stuff, so I just went back home and made note of where it was. I figured I can get it tomorrow and uh, go there. So I was about to go back there on day 60, but I got distracted by this cave. It kind of looked cool, so I went inside and... Yeah, things got out of hand fast. I killed all this stuff, but I think there was some gold. I was gonna probably gonna need some gold for later. By the time I was done with all that, it was... Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd have enough time to go get the wood, so I just worked on the house. And... It, it wasn't looking too good. Things were not looking good at all. I also realized that I had been just... I was totally copying the house that I was living in. Didn't even realize it, that I was just straight up copying it. You know, nice original design right here, Sean. Oh, good. So I sailed to the spruce the next day, uh, and this road getting over here, and this little path I was taking was actually quite beautiful. When I got to the shore, I managed to tame a wolf.
I, what happened to that wolf? What? I completely forgot about this wolf. So I kept walking and I spotted something in the distance. Not one building, but two. I had to check them out. And uh, when I got to the first one, it turns out it was the same building that I'd already been staying in. Which meant that, you know, remember that basement? How I found that there was chests down there? This one probably had them too. And sure enough, woo, look at this, it did. But there was no diamonds though, so... It was fine though. The other building was, it was some sort of tower. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going there tomorrow for sure. So I started heading there in the morning and uh, came across this, this beautiful sea creature. Oh, look at this thing. A huge crab. Very cool. I entered the tower and honestly, this place, it, it was a breeze. I went through each floor, no problem. The, the only tricky one was the golden men. What, what am I talking about? The golden... Okay. Okay. D look, look at these golden men. At the top of the tower, there was this uh, room with papers and a map table in it. and I have no idea what this was all for, so I just kind of ignored it and went back down. There's a, a floor with an enchanting table. Yeah, I don't know. On my way back, though, I, I, the seagull stole my... Yeah, the seagull stole my meat. Did that... Did that seagull just... They're, they're taking my... They're taking my steaks. I had four, now I have two. Okay, that, um... I can't, I can't afford that. I started running back and I stopped in the spruce forest. And I caught... I, I cut down a ton of trees. It, look how much wood I have now. So I worked on the house next day and I finally... I'm finally gonna get this thing done. At first it wasn't looking good, it was... I'm starting to feel real worried about it, but over the course of the day, it started to look a little bit better. There's going to be a lot of days here in a row where I, not much happens besides working on the house. Between day 65 and day... I'm just going to save you time, right? Because I'm just working on the house. Day 65 all the way till day... What is it? Day 72? Yeah, I, I finished most of the house. This place looks pretty good, right? You got a, a nice little roof, a little balcony, there's a fireplace in there. There was, I well, we had some lights outside. The, the whole thing was looking pretty good. So day 73 is finally time to start preparing for my plan. I'm no longer going to kill the Kraken. No. My plan is to catch the beast. Catch and release, all right? To do this, I'm going to need a few things. The first thing, a cage, all right? So I built a, a bunch of chain link fences using iron that I got from that dungeon. Then I brought it back to the, my new house to make sure that it, it worked in water. But on my way, something happened. Oh! 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 I got tagged by a piranha. A yeah, little vicious fish jumped out of the water and started eating me. I didn't want to use uh, this fence piece for the roof because it, it can't go horizontal. It can only do go vertical, so it would just look weird. So I needed to figure out what I would use for the roof of the cage. Uh, that kind of worked with the theme. So I found this rusty sheet metal block. So I made you know, rusty sheet metal plates with iron. And I only have like nine iron here at, at this house. But ye it's actually quite economical because you, you get a lot out of that. So I ended up making nine rusty sheet metal plates. Then I used those to make blocks, which you get 24 of. And then I used those 24 blocks and made them into slabs. So I went from like nine iron to 48 rusty iron metal slabs. And these things, oh, these look pretty good. Pretty good slabs here. Hey, day 74. I wanted to test my theory out to see if this cage would even work before I went after the big boy, the Kraken. Several days ago, off camera, I installed a new mod that adds a ton of river monsters. That, you know what, if I, if I knew that I was doing a river monsters 100 days, I would have installed it from the beginning. But sometimes a man does not know what he's doing with his videos until he's... <laughs> 70 days in, you know, so sometimes you got to sit back, relax, and just and see what happens, all right? This mod that I installed, I knew absolutely nothing about. I looked at the picture and just added it to the game. I couldn't get all these fish to spawn naturally, so I had to manually spawn them, and I had done this several days ago, off camera. I spawned them throughout all the rivers that I could find nearby, and uh, gave them several days to swim to wherever they wanted to be, so I, I would not know where they were. I also did not know what they did. I knew nothing about any of them at all. So just... There was a man sailing down a river. With one goal and one goal only. Catch one of these things. Somewhere in this river that I was sailing down, there was a true river monster swimming in the darkness. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Ooh, did, I'm gonna be completely honest. I did. I did not expect that to happen. I didn't even. I did not think that they were aggressive. So. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say about that one, alright? I was, I was, all I can say is I was now terrified of the river. And I did not want to step foot in it. So, but I, that gear, I needed it back. Needed it badly, so... I went for it. I don't want to go in the water. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. Hey, see, it's right there. It's right... It's... It's right there. It knows when you go in the water. You, okay, you see that right there? That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. That thing, that thing is dangerous. Th that is a bloodthirsty beast. I don't even want to call it a beast. That is a bloodthirsty fish right there. So I carefully got my stuff one piece at a time, then I ran home. I used an ender pearl to cross the river because at this point, there's no way I'm touching that water anymore. And I'm not going in there. So I went back to the old house to rebuild and refuel because after that I had no food. I was hungry. So I needed to deal with that. And I made some golden apples. I went out fishing the following day, and you know what? First time fishing, hey, it's not hey, pretty good. It's what? There we go. Hey, hey. What are you going back in the water for here? Okay, right, come here. Oh, here we go. Big old salmon. Enough. Yeah, even the turtles don't want to go in there anymore. So I went back to the house and uh, I made a diamond mace. This thing is absolutely beautiful. So I fished the rest of the day and, uh, you know, having a good time fishing. Remember at the start when I was scared to jump in here? I was right. Like, what, what are you... Hey, what is that? It pro probably has some sort of poison stinger on it. And paralyzes me and drags me to the bottom of the lake and drowns me. Not going in there. Not going in the water. I'm gonna do some fishing from right here. Hey, how's it going? Here, catch and release, you know? Get you back in. This river is incredibly dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. And I gotta sail down it? How am I gonna do this? I, I, I don't think this is possible. I, I don't want anything to do with this river anymore. I, I didn't know what to do, because I, I did not feel safe in a boat on the river anymore. And while I was figuring out my plan, I figured out I'm just going to work on building a dock. A nice simple dock that I can set sail off of next to my house. That, uh, what was it, Mosasaurus? We're not going to call it a Mosasaurus anymore, because that's technically a dinosaur. I'm going to call it the, this is called the Goliath Tigerfish, all right? Yeah, the Goliath tigerfish that attacked me twice, it, it, I, I realized one thing about it. It struck once, swam away, and then it hit again. Which tells me that I have a small window to get back to safety. In that time, I, I, I thought maybe I could use an ender pearl to teleport away. So I got the dock built, and I was about to do some fishing before bed. Okay, okay that, that piranha just jumped out of the lake and got me. This is uh, the river. This is ridiculous. So I, I okay, I need more ender pearls, and the best place to get them is that village. So I started the journey there, and I had to cross a few rivers, which, at this point, I did not. I was not a fan of that at all. <sighs> this is awful. Oh, oh, it's so deep. Oh, come on, come on. The next few weren't so bad, but at one point, I had to make a boat. And, uh, whew, I just didn't see it. I got on that boat and I did, I, I saw something I did not like. This is gonna be awful. This is awful. There's dead stuff everywhere. Why is there so much stuff floating? Why is there so much, ink? why is there so many ink sacks? Finally, I arrived at the, near the village and harassed by seagulls. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have enough food for these seagulls. Just stealing my stuff. It's not a good day for a man like me. When I got to the village, I forgot I had that bad omen thing. What is that? No, 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 no. 
I need a shield. Hey, move! What are you doing? Stand in the door. There's a raid coming. Come on. They're here. They're here. I can't spell shield. Why can't I use my shield? Oh, come on. What, what are you guys doing here? You guys need to take a break for one night. And now these guys are you... Okay, okay. Getting fed up with this stuff. So I slept when I could and woke up and just started fighting in the morning. Is the raid's resetting? Shoot each other. This has nothing to do with the river monsters at this point. It's resetting again. How do I end this raid? I just came here for ender pearls. I didn't come here for all this. No, no enough with your horns. Look, now they have some sort of beast here and a witch. I remember these things. Have, it's coming for me. It's coming for me. It's, it's. I can hear it galloping. It's galloping. Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. I can't eat you. What are you doing? What are you doing here? You just stay in the ocean, alright? I hope a beast takes you out. It's it's back. It's guy climbed out of the water. It swam. It's just resetting again. I'm not here for all this stuff. Don't be drinking that. He's just throwing stuff at me. What is that? There's one raider remaining. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave the one raider. And I'm going to get my ender pearls and just leave. I'm not I'm not part of this conflict. I was cutting down trees and because I needed sticks for emeralds. And I returned there and there's still one raider. But you know what? Just let that man do whatever he wants. I'm going to him. So I just did some trades and went to bed. I spent the entire day on day 80 waiting for the Fletcher to restock. And he just did not. So I went home the next day. When I got back to my house, now that I had ender pearls and kind of a plan, I thought it was, you know, it would be a little bit safer for me to be in a boat on the river. So I got in a boat and set sail. I wanted to see if it was theoretically possible for me to catch this thing on a fishing rod. And just to set the mood, a, a storm rolled in. Let's see if I can catch this thing just with a rod. It's pouring rain. Oh, oh. Oh! After spending a good chunk of time fishing, I did not catch it. So I went back. I returned the next day to the spot where I had died originally and started fishing again. This is where it is. Whoa! What was- that scared me! Why do they gotta make the, the puffer fish so scary? Yeah, I got scared like five times by that thing. Anyway, so I, I carefully sailed around more. I stuck close to the shore and just looking to see if I could see this thing. Eventually, I got out of the boat and just looked underwater to see if I could see its silhouette. And it seemed like the thing was gone. The following day, I finally had came up with a, a solid plan of how I was going to catch this thing. I was simply going to trap it. Why is it going to rain again? Why does it have to rain? So I found a good spot and started building a trap. I'm going to need to dig this entire cave out. I kept digging the next day and dug more throughout day 85 and... Yeah, day 86, I found a little hummingbird on my way to work on the trap. Oh! Whoa! Oh, like a hummingbird or something like that? Hello! Hey, how's it going? Little bird. Okay, get out of the middle of the river. You eaten. And just got back to more digging. Day 87, same thing. More digging. I had to get this thing nice and big. I kind of forgot how big the... Goliath tigerfish was. So I just, just made it as big as I thought it needed it to be. So now that I had a cage, or a trap at least, the second part of the plan was how was I going to get that giant... fish into here? I had to figure that out. And the next morning, an idea just came to me. Ugh. Oh, what are you doing here? Come on. You can't keep doing this. I was going to use one of these men as bait, okay? This man right here? I'm taking him. So he'll keep swimming after me, right? Or only when he's hooked. How far can I pull him? This is good. I'm only about halfway there. 
But better if I went on land, maybe? Because you'd chase me on land, right? Maybe it's faster. Come on over, my man! I'll sit right here, I'll wait for you. How do I get you on a boat? I don't want to place a boat. Get in. Get in the boat. There we go! Okay. Okay, you stay there, okay? We'll be right back. Wait, no, you're in a boat, it's fine. Okay, you gotta stop shooting me for one minute, okay? You're gonna be very useful. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you gonna drown? You're in the gra- No! You gotta stay in the boat! Stop, stop shooting me right now. I'm gonna lose it in a second. Okay. Stop, where's the boat? Keep going. Get in the boat. There we go. You're just gonna stay there, okay? Because you're psycho. Hey, don't know how I'm gonna get him out of there now. I thought I could just swim up a waterfall with a boat, but when I uh, tried to do that the next day, that did not work at all. The, uh, the other problem was that I, I kind of screwed up the nice circular pattern I had, so I had to kind of fix this area up again. I needed sand now to make glass, and uh, that meant sailing down the other river. And the thing is, is that that uh, Goliath tigerfish? Eh, it's not the only thing I spawned in these rivers, so I was... Eh, did not like sailing down this side of the river either, because... <laughs> yeah, there's something else in here. Luckily, I, I got the sand with no problem, so when I got home and started cooking it, and, and went to the trap to build more. I added the rusty sheet metal slabs to the edges, because I figured, if there's water in here, it's splashing up on this metal, it's probably gonna get rusted. It's looking pretty good, and had the thing almost done on day 90. Day 91, I managed to get the man out of that tank, and, uh, up. This guy was really annoying me, though. How's it going, my man? We're gonna do two things here. We're gonna have to break you out of this thing. Okay, now you gotta chase me. Come on, yep. Can you come through here? Alright, good. Come on the stairs. Come on the stairs. Good, good, good. Come around. Come around. This way, this way, this way. How do I get you in this boat? I forgot how to do it. Come on, get in! There we go. Okay, good. Okay, you need to go... You need to relax with that. Okay, you're about to go in your own little spot in a second. You are getting... You're getting on my... Stop shooting me! Okay. Enough. Enough! So I built the rest of the tank, and it was it was 90% done at this point. There's just a few more things to do tomorrow. And by day 92, it was, it was done. All I had to let, left to do now was fill it in. And the following day, I did just that. I was filling this thing with water. I know I said I wasn't going to screw around with water in this, but here I am, you know? Filling this tank in with water. I finished the trap by day 94. Yeah, I removed the cobblestone, and I got ready. The plan is incredibly simple. I'm gonna lure the thing into this tank. I'll be in here, I'll be coming after me, I'll go, oh. What I do is I swim straight to this hole right here. I leave. Run up this, it, it, it absolutely cannot fit into here. I just run straight up the stairs. Before it even knows what's going on, I come down right here. Boom, 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 seal this up. It's locked away in there. I'm catching this thing. The, the, the plan isn't totally ironed out yet, but... Like every good plan, you just figure it out when the time comes. I knew that I needed this man, though, out in the middle of the lake, just sitting there being bait. Now all I had to do was just sit there and wait. Okay, okay, okay. okay, it happened again. I sat there watching him for the entire day, and through a good chunk of the night. There was nothing. Not even a nibble. So the next day I went out looking for it. I set my field of view to max, and went into third person sort of looking down while I sailed. I was sticking close to the coast to remain safe, and after sailing for a bit, I started to... started to think that this thing... might have despawned. Oh! It was right there. W where did it go? It was right there. I got back in the water briefly to try to spot it, but it, w it was gone. So I just sailed home. And, and thought, okay, maybe he's, maybe he's gonna go take the bait now. So I, I just sat there and waited, and... Nothing. Day 97. Time was ticking, and there was no sign of this beast. I, I think it swam away. And since I had the trap built here, and the man set as bait, I, yeah, I... I had to do something. So yet again, off camera, I went and spawned another one in, further up the river. Came back into survival mode, sat there, and just waited again. Oh! Okay, it's right there. 
Okay. It just took them. There it is right there. Okay, okay, okay. I have to I have to do this quick. I'm right here. Here, come here. Okay, okay. Come on, I'm here. I'm here. It's right there. Come on, come on. Come after me. Come on. Here, I can hook it. I can hook it. Fish on. Fish on. I got, I got it. Okay. Okay. I got it. I can't believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. I should be dead right now. I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do what Jeremy does. Look at the, look at this beautiful fish right here. You can see just that those the scales or whatever those are, and that the, that sharp row of teeth. This thing is a monster, a river monster. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I cannot believe that that actually worked. I thought there there was no way that this thing was going to attack that man. I, I thought it was a zero percent chance. I set this thing up as a joke and thought that maybe it would swim by it. I knew nothing about this mod and have not even interacted with this thing prior to just spawning it in and having it immediately swim away from me. I, th I thought there was no way that that thing was going to do that. Zero percent chance. So I watched the sun go down and then went to bed. Tomorrow is going to be it's going to be tough tomorrow. Day 98. It was time to do ex what Jeremy always does. Catch and release. You can swim out of here. Leave. I hooked it. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. It's going to come out. There we go. I almost had it out. There we go. This man's out. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. What are you doing? You like you? You were out. Come on, swim right out. What are you? Sw Come on, go. Swim free. Is it taking damage? It's taking damage. I gotta save it. Okay, there we go. Don't, don't attack me. Don't, don't, don't. Do not. I'm trying to give you, set you free. Eventually, I got it back in the water, but I, I guess it had no stamina. I tried to get it going a, f a few times, which normally ended with it, it trying to eat me. Oh, okay. What are you doing? I just released you. You try. I, I'm not. You're not getting me. There's no way. There we go. Stop trying to eat me. It, it sort of just stayed here all day long. So the following day, day 99, it still hadn't left. I thought, you know what? Let's do what I can do. I'll just. I'll get a picture with it. Look at that. Got a picture? I'll see you later, okay? It's fun. Fun getting killed by you, but you know what? I got you. So I went, after that I went back to the old house. And, you know, it was finally time. To go swimming in that lake. You know what? I'm not afraid anymore. It's time to go for a nice big swim. What was that thing? Hey, there it is. Uh, river monsters. But before I go, man, once again, thanks to uh, Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure you uh, check them out in the link down below.